you know, the benefits of the doing of the camp is the kids keep getting to push their ability level. You know, I think um, one of the things the kids like is playing with other kids with their same ability. You know, I think sometimes a camp will, let's say they have a group of 10, they'll have three kids that are uh, really good and maybe three kids that are not so good and then four in the middle that are just uh, average. Usually our group's ability level are usually one through 10 about the same and I think kids really enjoy that. And sometimes, um, you know, a nine-year-old grows up at his little league field and he's been the best nine-year-old ever. Well, when we move him up with the 11-year-olds, just on size alone, he's not the best player ever. And I think he enjoys that. I think he likes the challenge of playing with better ball players. And the kids that are 11, you know, want to play really well. And um, I just think it works out. And the kids really push themselves to get to the next level. And I think the focus and when you get the group of 10 to get it right with the skill level that makes the baseball, the games, everything more exciting. And, you know, sometimes when we move 11 year olds up to the 13 year old level, so that changes their whole field from playing on 60 foot bases to 90 foot bases. And they really enjoy that because it's the first time that they get to see it. And um, so that adds excitement to it. I think um, some weeks that they can work out as an infielder and get infield instruction. They can come back the next week and work out as a catcher and get catching instruction. Um, there's kids that play baseball that, you know, sometimes in Little League they're relegated to the outfield. But for the NYBA camp, if they want to pitch and their heart is set on pitching, they are going to pitch that week. And we find them innings on the mounds. We do pitching clinics with them to get them better. And a kid gets to be what he wants to be. And, um, I think that that's the most important thing is, is you know, not designating a kid as a, a first baseman at 10, 11, 12 years old, or even 8, 9 years old. How do we know that they're going to be a first baseman in life? Let them try to be a second baseman, shortstop, a catcher, an outfielder, a pitcher. Let them be what they want to be, and I think that's what the NYBA does is it allows kids to pursue what they want to pursue.